I believe that laws should be interpreted fairly, evenly, and consistently. And those are ideas that underlie my legal philosophy when it comes to interpreting the law. Uh, I think these are key elements of what most of us uh, understand justice to mean. And I think even, fair, consistent application of the laws is also good policy uh, because it lets people know what the rules of the road are and it gives uh, predictability to the law, which is important for commerce and trade and for all of us. You know, additionally, uh, I bring a pragmatic approach to things. Uh, I love law. I love public policy. I knew when I cracked open my first law book, uh, I had found the right calling. And I also love public policy because the way I was raised was, if you see a problem in your community, you've got a responsibility to try to fix it. And so I've worked in both of those areas. The Attorney General's office kind of is at the intersection of law and public policy. And I look at it in a very pragmatic way. What's the effect that it's having on people's lives? Uh, how is it impacting businesses? Those are the things that I look at as uh, an individual, as a state senator, as a lawyer. Uh, as a state senator, one of the things that I saw happen in, in my community and all across the state a few years ago was when uh, designer drugs uh, came into Virginia. And these are laws, these are, are drugs like bath salts and, and spice and, and synthetic drugs. At the time, they were legal because these were new chemical compounds that uh, criminals were infusing uh, on substances. And because they were legal, kids thought they were safe. And it spread through Virginia like wildfire. Some of the most heart-wrenching stories I heard from parents tell me about uh, their experiences with their son or their daughter who got their hands on these drugs. They were engaged high school students, active, uh, did a lot of extracurricular activities, and then their lives were turned upside down when they took these drugs. Uh, I worked with the parents, I worked with the medical community, uh, I worked with law enforcement to try to do something about it, and together we put a law in place to change the, the existing drug laws that hadn't been kept up to date with these new designer drugs. And that's what I mean by bringing a pragmatic, problem-solving approach uh, to the law and to public policy and how the law needs to evolve to work better and to meet the needs of the people. You know, it also goes without saying that the laws should be applied without favoritism. Uh, we've recently been reminded of that. We've always known in Virginia how important it is to elect people who are honest and have integrity. Uh, but nobody should feel like if they give the Attorney General some kind of special gift that they're going to get special favor and no Attorney General should ever accept that kind of gift or favor. So as Attorney General, I will see that the laws are interpreted fairly, evenly, consistently, and uniformly. I'll bring a pragmatic, problem-solving approach to the Attorney General's office, and I'll make sure that ethics is returned to the office.